Hello all, Series Lee's here, back for some more back-to-back -back weekend missions, and this weekend it looks like we have Taming Wild Creatures. Uh, yeah, I'll take a Warp Hypercore, that'll stack nicely. Start mission. 1800 Quicksilver is really what we're after, we're, we're almost at 100k on this save. Doing some work on, we'll do work on Placid Leaper Medeath as well, because it's the lowest one that I have. This is my lowest Quicksilver save. Well, in normal mode, I think. Except for some of the saves that I haven't played in well over a year. Probably have less. Alright, let's see what kind of planet we have to go and tame wild creatures on. I didn't check for creature pellets, but it's just some carbon. We can make it when we're there for all out of them. Uh, red and orange space sky here. Six planets, black market controlled system. Interesting stuff. And we've got a marker over this way on this planet here, or one behind it. Could be one behind it because it's uh, not telling me. Yeah, we don't want to go to that planet. Let's go to our marker. Oh, no, oh, oh, this is the Fauna Dense planet. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. <laughs> It's an aggressive sentinel planet on normal mode. We'll see what happens. We do not need to go to the marker and we do not need to stay here. As soon as we get out of our ship, we can hop right back in. And we can go to a different planet in this system. Let's just wait for some sentinels or not to pop in. We didn't see any. on the landing mode. We've got bad weather. We've got malicious sentinels. Let's check while we're here. We've got 200 creature pellets available to us. No big deal. Might be a predator here too. It does not seem to be aggressive to players immediately. While there aren't any... Oh, there's a sentinel right there. Let's get out of here. We got two animals, we did not get sentinel attention. Let's go to a different planet. Let's see what we got here in this star system. We were we went around the planet to reveal this guy. What's over there? A poisonous planet with ancient bones. Uh, regular Indium doesn't have activated. Oh no, we want to be in that mode. Let's see where the other planets are. Uh, that has activated Indium. We can avoid that guy. <laughs> we got a storm going on over there on that one with the rings. What's behind it, though? Okay, we have to look at this guy if we want to scan that first. Salvageable scrap, activated Indium. Ah, come on, game. There we go. Marshy planet, regular Indium. We're gonna go here. There is ocean, but we do not have to deal with aggressive sentinels, just a lot of them. As long as we don't kill any of these animals, we should be fine. Or trip and stumble on a flower and break it. They don't like that either. Looks like we have green skies here. I oh, want well, marsh green skies. The swamps and volcanoes have different colored skies than regular planets. So we're gonna quickly land here and check the discoveries right away because it could be all flying creatures here. It could be all underground or water creatures. We wanna see that there's stuff for us to feed here. We have to land to find that stuff in our discoveries menu. Ten creatures here. Ground, 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 ground. Lots of ground, only one flying creature. Okay, this is a great planet. This is fantastic. Let's hit our visor. Red dot right away. Whoops. Throw some food for that guy. Just the one, but we'll get more. Oops. 
red dot over there. Oh, lots over here. Alright, lots of attention. Ooh, look at that floating crab guy. Yeah, this is going to be a good planet to do this mission on, because most of these guys are going to be able to be scared. I see another word over here. Get some food to that predator-looking cat. It might not be a predator, but it looked like one. It appeared to be stalking prey. Let's scan the guy. No, small trees for the diet. Okay, that's great. Scare these guys, they'll go get some food. Scare everyone into eating again. Come on guys, grab a bite. We're at 14. Gaggle of guys eating a bunch of pellets, but we have so many we may as well just drop them. Look at this little boar guy. The stegosaurus spikes on the back. Zebra, boar, stegosaurus, rhino thingy. Neat. Alright, scare our guys again. Drop another pellet. Boar, rhino, cat as well with wings. Okay. Interesting. Lots of boars in this planet. That crab guy is not scared of no laser blasts, but uh, he might get hungry again and drop down to munch on a pellet. Alright, we're done. That's definitely going to be the six we need. I mean, if not, we'll scare two more. We'll just scare some people. There we go. Uh, was there no pellet left? Yeah, they're all eating the pellet. Okay. There we go. All done on normal mode. Easy as that. We're going to do the exact same thing on permadeath. We're not wasting a lot of time on that terrible target planet. We're going to go to the nice marsh planet. We could explore a different planet too, but a lot of them had um, bad weather. Gotta love these Nexus missions that they give us for the weekend mission when they don't require you to go hand anything in. Uh, this is a great one. This one and Eliminate Hazardous Flora are some of the better two. For the weekend missions, uh, there's certainly faster and easier missions that they never give us for the weekend mission. Been doing a bunch of the Nexus missions lately. and. Uh, even the Killing Monstrosities mission can be very fast and easy. You hop on a building, and if you have any kind of multi-tool weapon, easy sauce. Alright, complete mission. Restore point saved. Or hypercore gained. Mode select, yeah. We're gonna go to Placid. Easy mode, permadeath. Still more permanent death than regular easy normal mode. And it's a lot harder than normal mode on easy settings too. Normal mode can go very, very easy if you want it to. We are still limited to 500 per item on this mode. At the most lenient settings. All right, Tame Wild Creatures for a Factory Override Unit. I don't think this save has one of those. So that's a unique item for this save. Cool. We'll do it. Untamed pallets. Yeah, we're gonna... We've got 21 pellets on us, and I'm sure we can make more. I have a ton of carbon on this save. Unfortunately, we do have to land at the target planet first, but we'll just do that real quick. There's this one right here in front of us. So we'll just wait for the mission to catch up. Very bright green planet here. I, I don't know why we get sort of 
red hue when we go through the clouds there, but it's very bright during the day. Okay, mission updated, 0 of 38. Let's get out of here. Broke a rock on the way out. Suck at Sentinels. Okay, that's a space station. We know that this planet here gets storms, the ringed planet, and the swamp is the one behind it. Do we want to try? No, that has very few animals. We're going to go to the swamp. Uh, just double check that it's not this one over here. New. No. Target. If those freighters don't get in the way, thank you. Desacra Bicock. Marshy planet. It says unmapped, but we, we just saw that I, I was just there. People have been here before. <clears throat> it's it's possible that I might be the first one to go to this specific planet. I should try to upload the name. Maybe I'll get my name on it. I'm, I'm home early from work today, so I'm recording this basically right after the mission went live. We will probably get this uploaded before KJ and <laughs> Lava go live tonight, instead of after. Discovered by me. It's a good enough name for me. We'll see if that sticks. Oh, no, see, it says discovered today by Stu. Oh, that's the system. Uh, all right, well, we'll see if that sticks. We'll see if that sticks. That might be fun. I would like to go here. Start feeding it. Oh, we have 200 pellets on this save, too. Must have a bunch on the freighter. Did he not see that? Oh, there's some smaller creatures. That's good. That's good. I'm sure those turtle guys will get scared as well. These walkers might not, but we're going to start feeding them because uh, if they do, that'll be great. Yeah, everybody come get a pellet. Don't know who that guy is over there behind the sodium. Doesn't seem to be able to get up the hill. That's okay. Whoops. Drop another pellet. Scare everybody. Yeah, these guys can be scared. They're small enough walkers that a laser blast will make them eat again. We do have to be a little bit careful not to hit plants and rocks with our laser beam when we're scaring these guys. We could just switch weapons too. Because that sentinel will get upset if we break anything. We're already at 20 of 38. We're doing great. Plenty of food on the ground, plenty of animals to eat it. Gonna be done in no time. Very nice planet here. I like the swamp planets. Listen, guys, don't come bother me. If you bother me, I'm going to shoot my laser beam. I know that you're able to eat again if you come up to me. I think a pilot just flew overhead. Whoops, oh no. They, you can stun animals. It doesn't bother them, though. They, uh, they don't mind. They don't get angry at you for stunning them. I, I might, you know... <laughs> I'd probably be pretty angry if somebody did that to me. But 
we are all done on permadeath as well. Let's go hand that in. What was our reward this time? Oh yeah, the uh, unique attack for unlocking recipes that we've never once used on the save because nanites are pretty easy to get for money. So we just bought all the recipes. Although I'm fairly certain we could still use this piece of tech here that we're going to get to get nanites. Uh, I think that's one of the reward options instead of learning a new recipe. Is free nanites. Factory override unit. All right, there we go. Easy, easy stuff this week. Just bring some creature pellets and a uh, weapon of any kind. You'll be able to scare the guys on the swamp planet, no problem. You do not have to fight any sentinels. You just have to land, get out of your ship, have the mission update, get in your ship and fly away. You can't leave the system. You have to do the, the mission in this star system, but you don't have to do it on a target planet. All right, that's it for this week, everybody. <laughs> Until next time, have a good time.